This is a video on how to use the various features of the generic female and the customizer tool that comes with her. This video has timestamps down below. They would be converted into chapters, but for some reason YouTube does not allow that on my videos. I have no idea why. So if you're looking for a specific feature or an explanation thereof, check the video description for the relevant timestamps. We're going to cover the customizer tool first. So once you have a generic female spawned, you can activate the customizer tool by going to rig and then loading the generic female customizer. You will get this master menu, and from here, we can go through and decide the elements we're customizing. Customizing the face will provide this layout. It has a lot of dials on it for a lot of customizability. You can use the customization however much or little you wish. In the top left, you have the texture files. The top right is the face preview, and then the bottom is the color controller. Every option has the ability to either use a drop down or a slider to change its current value. The textures, you simply choose the texture being loaded in. For colors, you have three sliders. The first is choosing a color preset. The second is controlling the opacity of that color. And the third is a button that will allow you to set your own arbitrary color outside of the existing presets if you want to use a color that does not exist in the presets. Every option has a randomizability along its left hand side. And along the bottom, you can choose to randomize textures, randomize colors, or randomize both. Currently, there are six different faces, 15 different eyebrows, and 15 different freckle patterns. There's only one pattern each for makeup, but the system does support more if people wish to add them themselves. You can go ahead and you can click the dice button to randomize a single element. You can use the random textures to randomize all of the textures. Randomize co random color to randomize all the colors. Random all to choose all of them. And at any time you can bring up the custom color picker and choose your own unique colors. But note that as soon as you change the slider, you will lose that custom color. Note that the face color is your character's overall skin color and it will recolor their entire body, not just their face. Once you're happy with a particular configuration, hit confirm and then close out of the menu for your changes to take effect. And the second element is eye colors. This loads from a predefined location. Currently the generic females use the generic male system for the eyes. You cannot currently set your own, it is hard coded. It will be customizable at a future date. There is no preview for the eye colors, but there will be any later version of the tool. You can either choose an explicit eye color and apply it, or you can randomize it. By default, both eyes are set. However, you can also set a specific eye. Or you can have it choose a random eye itself. And then of course, you can always set the eye color yourself again. The nail customizer is split into three components. You have the randomized control on the left hand side, the color picker button, and then the preview of the currently selected color. If there is no color visible right here, then that means it will go back to skin default. And then the no color button on the right hand side will undo any picked color and have it return back to that skin default. You can either choose an explicit color for finger and toenails, You can choose a random color for them. Or at any time, you can choose no color, at which point they will return to the skin tone default. Generic female body shapes differ from the Hitman male customizer in that rather than using a bunch of unrelated sliders, it instead uses predefined character shapes, which are then mixed and matched to varying degrees. The body shape customizer comes in two elements. You have the randomize along the left hand side and then a slider for the value with 0% at one end and 100% at the other end. If your current max value exceeds 100%, then it will automatically balance so that the summary is always equal to 100% of a body shape applied. Along the bottom, you can choose between the default cleavage shape designed for outfits or for the nude shape, which will not be shown here because this is a family friendly video on YouTube and YouTube does not believe in breasts. You can manually set these however you wish. 
and then apply. Or you can randomize as you see fit. And if you wish for a perfectly average of all the possible shapes, you can simply set each body shape to 100%. And it will set to a perfectly average body shape. If you wish to return to the default body shape, simply apply with all sliders all the way to the left. And you will return to the original body shape. Outfits are currently not supported through the tool. You will need to use the outfit loader instead. That will be covered at a later point in this video. Check the timestamps below. Hair is split into four sections. You have the selector, which can be randomized, a color preset picker, a manual color picker, and a preview of the currently chosen color. There are currently 28 different hairs to be chosen from. Each hair has its own name, so you can easily decide it. There are both generic hairs as well as character specific hairs available. There are a handful of different color presets that are available. You can see the color over on the right hand side. If you do not like any of the colors here, you can also choose your own color. As soon as you change the slider, you will lose your custom color. The randomize button will choose a random hair as well as a random color preset. If you have a current hair applied and you want to change its style, you do not need to delete or remove the hair. You can simply choose another hair and it will automatically update. For applying an outfit, you will need to use the outfit loader. See the description for a link to that. There are currently only two outfits available, which will be the scientist and the uniform outfits for Mass Effect. If you wish to manually control your body shape, it does not use body morph as other DASD5 models. It instead uses predefined full body shapes rather than specific elements. You can manually control the shapes here. There, every shape is named after its character type or character that it's built after, and will either the cleavage and the nude or the nude shape. You can apply them to any degree that you wish. However, be aware that the system is absolutely not designed for shapes to go beyond a maximum, some total of 100%. For this reason, it is highly encouraged that you use the customizer tool to set the shapes to make sure you do not exceed that 100% maximum. It handles all the math for you. But if you wish, you can manually set them yourself if you want to experiment with going beyond that 100% maximum. Or if you wish to mix the cleavage and nude shapes. And that is the generic female and the customizer features and how to use them.